So <clears throat> we've been here before, but I'm doing a different section. So like I said, we're gonna get off uh, 1500 miles of the Florida Trail. So uh, just gonna read this real quick. You're standing along the historic route of the Conquistador Hernando de Soto and his expedition to the Florida Native American territories in his quest for gold and glory. And then uh, I'll put it right here so you can read that. We've seen this in other videos. Did want to just briefly, you know, to start the hike, I always wanted to let you know where I'm at. So Ross Perry is a wetland surrounded by a high and dry ecosystem known as the sand hills. Plants and animals here live on ancient sand dunes, leftovers from when the ocean was higher. The area's topography presented a challenge to the builders of the Cross Florida Barge Canal. And you can read the rest on your own. So I wanted to show you in case you come out to Ross Perry, one of my favorite places to hike. Real nice bathroom facility with the shower. Got the campground right over here. We're gonna pick up the Florida Trail right here. Uh, thing I love, got the picnic shelter when I'm done hiking. Go in there, not supposed to have a beer, but uh, screw them, you know, catch me if you can. And then I'll have a candy bar and a beer and, uh, and uh, let's get started. Uh, it's gonna be a good hike today. Gonna make two videos. Uh, one about life in general, and of course the hike, which is this is the hiking video. All right, let's get going. So we've gotten this on previous videos, but the Florida Trail goes right along here, uh, right by this fence and back out that way. In fact, that's the portion of the trail I was going to do today. And then I thought, well, no, we haven't still haven't hiked back to where I uh, Shangri-La because <laughs> last time I took a left. And I thought I was going back towards Shangri-La and I was going the other way, I told you. And then, uh, so this is just the beginning. Uh, this is uh, gonna be a combination uh, bike and uh, hiking trail. I'm not gonna record any video until we get to where we make the right-hand turn onto the Florida Trail. Um, you know, the way the Florida Trail works, uh, is you got these little offshoots that come down into places where you can park your car or your, you know your bike or whatever and I uh, just wanted to show you this on the video you've seen this before it's a little uh, camping area you know you could stay in the campground over there or you could bring a tent and just put it right here called the scouts camping area because since scouts don't exist no more then uh, <laughs> you know I'm sure you're you're welcome to camp here you do I believe have to get a permit uh, from Florida just tell them that you're camping I don't I don't think it costs anything I'm not sure all right, so we're just going to start on the trail. I won't get any more video until the uh, the actual turn. Uh, if you look at a previous video, there's a lot of good uh, scenery along the way here. Uh, you are sharing the trail with bicycles, uh, although I didn't see anybody in the parking lot today. So that uh, shouldn't be anybody to run me over today. Um, so next video, we'll, we'll wait till we get on the Florida Trail. All right, so just wanted to get a quick uh, video here. You got this on the last video, but that's uh, 200 right over there. You can see we're in here, I don't know, about a mile or so. Uh, beautiful, beautiful trail. I mean, if you ever did this section, not a single person around. Uh, just want to kind of show you. We're going to continue on. You know, it's uh, it takes a good couple miles before you get to the main Florida Trail, which is this way. That'll be the next video. All right, so a bit of a hike to get here. Uh, see, this is the this is what I call the main Florida Trail. Let me get my stick out. It's going. To, this is to the right. Okay, we just came up this from Ross Prairie. Beautiful hike, by the way. I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, if this is all you want to do, just hike up to here and hike back. I, you, you're not going to go wrong. Uh, I wanted to show the left-hand fork, which is what we did in the last hike. If you go down here a ways, there's a primitive camping area, a beautiful primitive camping area up on a nice hill. Uh, you know, you could survive a, a, a hurricane on that top of that hill and uh, probably stay dry if your tent doesn't leak. Um, and then let's get the sign right here. So, <laughs> how I missed this the last time. So, uh, the 49th Avenue Trailhead, uh, we came up that and I didn't quite make it to this point. So, we got to hike back this way to get there so uh you can see we just came 1.3 miles the ross prairie trail it felt like it felt like two but anyway and then the ross prairie trailhead is 2.2 miles that way which is where we went before 
So, uh, just kind of showing you, you know, everything. So we're going to start hiking this way. But uh, let me just be quiet for just a minute so you can kind of get the feel. I mean, you're back in here. I mean, you can still hear the cars on 200. But, uh, you know, so you're not like way, way, way out. But I imagine, you know, there's, there's probably snakes and bears around in here. And, and you're all by yourself. I mean, you know, there's not a single person in the parking lot. Uh, you know, it is May. Okay. And uh, that's another thing that I was going to comment on coming up to this point was that, uh, you know, this time of the year, uh, the trail crews don't really get out because it's like 90, 95 degrees today. I don't know what the temperature is. Um, and so, you know, they, they don't want to work in the heat. And so the trail has grown in quite a bit. Uh, so, you know, you, you're not, you're not getting a wide trail. You can kind of see what I'm seeing is that, uh, well, this is actually a little bit wider open than, <laughs> than what I just came up. Uh, so maybe a trail crew has been through here. But what I'm saying is at this time of the year and probably until September, you're not going to get a lot of trail crews back in here to, to maintain the trail. So they're going to get more and more grown in. And, uh, and you can't really hike these when it gets up to 110, although I hike them, I mean, but I'm just saying, you know, most people wouldn't want to be out here hiking at 110 degrees, and then I'd have to have my, you know, today I just got shorts and tennis shoes on, I mean, uh, but, uh, you know, in the when it does get grown in and you can't really see, you got to, you know, I, I wouldn't worry about the snake leggings, I think you could see a snake until it really gets grown in, but, uh, you know, you do want the long pants, because you got to, uh, you know, bugs and stuff you know trying to trying to crawl up your legs and whatnot uh, anyway that's it for the hiking video for a while let's just wait till we get a different look man I'm making too much video but isn't this cool looking I mean it's a kind of a different look I uh, we'll just go up here just a little ways but you see what I'm talking about it's May everything's growing in you know you're gonna get narrow and narrow I hit a couple cobwebs today because nobody's been back here uh, so, but, uh, this is, this is what I'm seeing. Beautiful, beautiful hike. Loving it. So on my last hike at Sunny Hill, I didn't stop and smell the roses. So I said that I just got to start doing that. These are pretty cool looking, aren't they? I wonder what that is. I just did. And then you got this one right here. All right. And uh, a couple more over here. All right. So if you watch my videos, you know always a big complaint I have is uh, no picnic tables. And uh, I guess this is called Spring Park, but you can tell it's a horse uh, stop place, stop in place. But at least you got a table here. I mean, this is nice. It's a little bit old, beat up. Probably not going to last much longer. But yeah, you could sit on it. Looks like they've had a fire. Be a nice place to hole up and camp if you wanted to. All right, let's get back on the Florida Trail. I always try to get the weird stuff. Look at that tree. One thing I am noticing is the mosquitoes are out. I didn't really prepare for them with any bug netting or anything today. But uh, this is just kind of continuing down the trail. Got to move pretty quick to keep the bugs off. All right, they're just going to get worse. I mean, this is just May. Man, you would be out here in June, July, August. You, you get eaten alive without bug netting. All right. So, I mean, it's a little bit different look. I mean, we just came up that. You can see what I'm talking about. It's starting to grow in. Uh, about a month from now, then, you know, it'll be a lot grown in. You can kind of see in this. And, uh, and this is, so it's kind of a piney forest type of look uh, with the, you know, there's an occasional oak tree mixed in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hike. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we should get back to where I cut off uh, towards Shangri-La and that'll wipe out uh, this portion of the Florida Trail. And then we'll start continuing further east, once again from Rossbury, because uh, we haven't, I've hiked it before, but I've never made a video on it. And uh, we'll, we'll knock that section out. And then eventually I got to start heading back north. Uh, we're getting further and further out, so eventually I'm going to have to start camping along the way. But, uh, and that's, uh, that, that's going to suck in the summertime. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to wait until I get like a week-long forecast where, you know, go out with the tent and sweat to death <laughs> you know as as miserable as winter is for you if you're in a northern state summer here in florida is pretty doggone brutal although i'd rather be hot than freezing to death all righty that's it 
So, this is for the hiking video here. We just came up there. You see how it's creeping grown in, what I was talking about a while back, you know, so the, the, the weeds and stuff are brushing against your legs. But it's, uh, I mean, look at this. See? I'm not hearing any car noise. I mean, you're, you're back in here. Uh, like I said, the bugs are getting out. Uh, I do like a little bit of up and down, which is what we're experiencing on this. Whoa! <laughs> Spider! <laughs> Spider! Holy moly, that was a big one. Holy moly. All right, let me get this off for just a second. Well, that'll make the video <laughs> a little bit exciting. Feet went out from underneath me just trying to avoid getting a face full of spider there. Uh, that's one problem when you come back here and nobody's, nobody's hiked the trail but you. But uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you what it's looking like. Uh, I guess I better start keeping a better eye out for snakes and spiders. Uh, and... Uh, but uh, real, real nice hike back here. I'm sorry to see it getting overgrown. Uh, you know, next year, I guess the trail crews will come back and widen it back out again. I don't expect them to be out again this year. So this is get more and more difficult to hike. Plus the heat and the bugs. You know, I'm hearing the mosquitoes buzzing around me. It's just that time of the year. Uh, you know, and the heat, uh, boy, it's, it's, it's a hot day. I'm feeling it. Uh, but I'm going to finish up this portion of the trail. Still got a long, that's one of the problems, you know, doing the Florida Trail. Long, long, long hike back. So, But uh, this sure will be good getting to that motorcycle. Got a cold beer waiting and uh, some cold water uh, and some snacks, which I may or may not eat. Uh, you know, I, one good thing, I put an apple in there, so I'll be at least munch on that. All right, let's... Uh, Let's keep going. I'm going to get to pick up the pace here. It's getting warm. So this is for the hiking video. We uh, made it. The uh, the last time I was on the uh, Hafarda Trail coming from uh, 49th Street, coming towards Sangra, or coming towards Ross Prairie, this was as far as I made it because I recognized this right here because I came, came up to this road. And that particular day, I wasn't feeling too good. But uh, so from this point on, uh, you've already seen the uh, the Florida Trail. Um, I'm going to go up. Just want to get a good good hike in. Uh, probably hike up to the uh, the paved bike path, and then I'll just turn around and go back. So now we've knocked out another portion of the Florida Trail. Uh, so that's uh, that's cool. Um, can't wait till you see the the next section coming out of Ross Prairie going further east. That's going to be uh, really cool. I've, I've done that hike. It uh, gets up on some ridges. You know, I love being up on a ridge, uh, looking down on either side. Um, and the uh, problem is, it's like five, over five miles to get to the next parking area, which I have not found uh, on my motorcycle. I tried, went looking for it the other day and couldn't find it. So I'm probably just going to have to pull up the map at home and try to figure out where that parking area is. Because if I, that would be a 10 mile hike, I'm not sure I can do that. I'm just not that good a shape. Uh, to, to do the whole thing so probably have to attack it from one side and then get it from the other All right, that's it for today's uh, hiking video. I don't imagine there'll be anything on the way back that I want to put on the video uh, And you've already seen this portion of the trail Because uh, we hiked it up from 49th Street to right there and uh, that's it for today. You guys have a good one. Peace out Yeah, I'm still moving along even though we've seen this before but I didn't remember how pretty this was. I mean, look at that hill right there and that tree. So, kind of a different look. Uh, you know, we're not seeing any new portion of the Florida Trail, even though we've done this before. Um, I just thought I'd get this on the video. It's real pretty through here. Going to be time to turn around. It's getting to be uh, after 3 o'clock. I got about a two, 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 hour, two or three hour hike to get back. But uh, I was hoping to get to the bike trail. I guess we'll see. I'll go to get up here past this rock and just kind of show you what it looks like. Isn't that nice? Look at the size of those pine trees. Look at that one there, leaning kind of onto the path. All right, I get enough. You know, I'm on my way back, but whoo, I just thought I'd get this. Man, that's beautiful. Plus, I got to summarize the hike. I guess, uh, what can I say, hot? Buggy, spidery, <laughs> a 
but beautiful. There you go. That's my hiking summary for the day as I kill another mosquito.